I play a character called Henry, and he is a soldier in the Royal Navy when we first meet him. Um, we see him at the beginning of the film trying to alert his crew and his captain of an oncoming danger um, that is believed in certain mythological circles uh, <clears throat> to be true. However, these guys don't believe him and he is basically stripped from his credentials and held in prison. I'd never worked with a, a duo director pair um, before and so it was good to see the <clears throat> the advantages that that brings to a set, especially um, with a film the size of Pirates and the scope and the style of filmmaking, it really, um, it really uh, adds to the experience to have two guys to bounce off. They're both very hands-on, they, they both loved shooting and ha had a great energy and a great exciting vibe to them, um, as well as knowing inside out the story we were telling and, and the styles that they wanted to implement into this new, fresh franchise. Yeah, working with Kaya was fun. I mean, we had um, a lot of fun, silly moments together. Um, a, a couple of serious scenes, trying to figure out where to go and what to do. Um, but a lot of the times we'd be lying on a studio floor, uh, pretending to be at the bottom of the ocean, um, getting sprayed with hoses. Uh, so there was a lot of um, funny, ridiculous moments in there with Kaya. Yeah, Johnny was great. I mean, I, I've been a fan of his work since I was a kid um, and studied his movies in acting school and I you know, admire him as a guy. And to work with him, especially opposite Jack Sparrow, was a dream come true. Well, Javier is surprisingly the exact opposite of his character. <laughs> He's the, the sweetest guy, the nicest man, you know, um, but he plays this incredibly evil, scary character. Um, so to see those two differences on action and cut is quite extraordinary. The supernatural and, and mythological elements have been something that um, the Pirates franchise has carried right through the first one, so um, it wouldn't be a Pirates movie without it, I think. Uh, but in this one, we see uh, a bunch of them coming together. So yeah, it is, it is pretty cool. Shooting the film was so exciting. There was something huge happening every day, so it had an energy and a force behind it that I never really experienced before. So did you like that video? Do you think you know everything there is to know about movies? Well, today I have for you some interesting movie facts. 1941, You're in the Army Now, features the longest Hollywood kiss on camera, clocking in at three minutes and three seconds. Chocolate syrup was used as the blood in the movie Psycho. Hmm. Hitchcock himself thought the texture really helped to make it more realistic. Now, the longest film made is The Burning of the Red Lotus Temple. The film is over 27 hours long. Film executives were a bit nervous about casting Leonardo DiCaprio as the kid in The Quick and the Dead. As a result, and to show her confidence in the actor, co-star Sharon Stone paid his salary out of her own pocket. In The Lion King, one of the bugs that Timon pulls out of a log is wearing Mickey ears. Now, this is not the only case of Disney films pulling out other characters. The genie in Aladdin pulls Sebastian from The Little Mermaid out of his bag of tricks when looking through his spell book. In the Pirates of the Caribbean series, Johnny Depp wears contact lenses that function as sunglasses so that the character would not be constantly squinting. Hmm, not a bad idea. So, did you know these facts? Which ones? Do you know any interesting movie facts? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Lisa and I'll see you next time.